David the 3D Critic is back with a brand new video. Today, I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts on Luka Doncic's first signature shoe, the Jordan Luka 1, and see if they are shooting guard friendly. Now to start things off, they retail for $110. However, there are certain colorways that retail for as low as $80. So if you guys are interested, I will try to leave a link in the description box below. And with all that being said, let's talk about the traction. When it comes to the traction, it is a full length rubber outsole with a multi-directional traction pattern all throughout the shoe. And it closely resembles a maze in my opinion. All right guys, there's no easy way of saying this, but the traction on the Luca ones is absolutely The traction is very grippy on clean courts, but you have to let them rubber in to get the best out of them. But once you do, it gives you a really good bite on the court, whether you are moving laterally from side to side, whether you're creating space to get an open shot, or staying toe to toe with perimeter defenders and doing hard stops as well. It will collect dust, but it doesn't stick. So just do a full wipe and you'll be set. And when it comes to the durability, it's really good overall. And other shoes, like the edge of the rubber, it usually wears off. However, on the Lucas, it's still intact. Durability-wise, indoors, you should be good to go. So overall, the traction is the best that I've had so far. Similar to the LeBron 20s in that respect. So I'm going to give these a 10 out of 10. For the cushion, it features a full-length Formula 23 foam, which was created by Jordan. And it basically is an injected pylon midsole. And you can also visibly see the uh, foam on the bottom of the shoe here as well. In my opinion, the cushion setup is pretty basic overall. While it is a responsive setup when you are creating space on the floor, trying to uh, get an open shot or guarding defenders, you will suffer when it comes to getting rebounds or contesting shots because they don't feel explosive overall considering that it's just a Phylon midsole and it doesn't have an air zoom unit or anything to help uh, give you that explosive contact on your foot. And there are times where I would be uh, flat footed while I'm contesting shots. But for heel strikes, it provides uh, enough impact protection, but it feels kind of firm overall, considering that it's basically a Phylon midsole. So overall, the cushion on the local one is... Jesus! 
but it's not as explosive as I wanted them to be. So for that, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. When it comes to the materials, it is mainly textile material with uh, jump wire cables along the lateral side and forefoot of the shoe with fuse on the medial side of the shoe. And the tongue is a perforated mesh tongue and there's a molded ankle collar that helps you slide your foot right into the shoe. So the materials overall in the forefoot and midfoot, it feels really comfortable. And in the back of the shoe, it feels really nice on the heel as well. But it doesn't scream premium to me, but as long as it's comfortable, uh, it's okay with me. So for that, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10. As far as the fit is concerned, I would go true to size. They fitted me perfectly lengthwise and widthwise. So if you are a wide footer, I suggest that you go up half a size. And if you have a narrow foot, I would go down half a size personally. But overall, it's a really good fit. I would give it a nine out of 10. The lockdown on the Luca ones is really good. The jump wire on the forefoot and the midfoot wraps around your foot really nicely. That way it won't move around in the foot with bed. However, in the heel, there was heel slippage initially, but to remedy that, I used the uh, lace loop on the ankle collar here and the heel slippage has yeah. ceased to exist. So for that, I'm gonna give the lockdown a 10 out of 10. Now the support on the Luca ones is sensational. The jump wire keeps your foot contained in the footbed, especially in the forefoot and the midfoot. The isoplate that is exposed here keeps your foot well contained, especially on the forefoot. And there's also a little external outrigger here. Then the isoplate, you can actually feel when you put pressure on it. But when I was playing with it, it didn't bother me that much. And in the back of the heel, there is a rugged TPU heel counter that clamps the heel into place so that you won't move from side to side in the shoe. So overall, the support is a 10 out of 10, through and through. In my opinion, the Luca One is a good pair of basketball shoes for shooting guards. The traction is elite and it is in level pegging with the LeBron 20s. The cushion is decent. The materials are comfortable, yet very supportive, and it gives you the confidence to change in any direction easily and also come down on your own two feet. And for $110 or $80, depending on which colorway you buy, it's a no brainer. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Comment down below on your thoughts on the Luca ones and any uh, suggestions on what I should review next, as well as any other questions that you might have shoe related. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to support this channel, it is greatly appreciated as always. My goal is to reach a thousand subscribers and many more to come. Uh, I'll leave my uh, Instagram in the description box below, that way you can stay up to date to uh, any uh, posts that I will uh, post on Instagram as well. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all the support. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time guys, keep shooting.